Hi everyone, my name is Takari Milan and I am the author and creator of the Tales of Camellia B, the Sea Surfers. Welcome to Storytime. The Tales of Camellia B is about a 10 year old African American girl and her friends who venture back in time around the world discovering hidden and unknown truths in black history. Come along with me and Camellia as we go on some fun filled adventures. Let's open up the book and open up history. It was Friday evening, Camelia's favorite time of the week. On this day, she and Eli went to hear Grandma speak. They quickly gobbled down Daddy's blueberry pie before they grabbed their night bags and waved goodbye. Grandma always had the best stories to share. The history lessons Camelia learned at school could not compare. Camelia grabbed the popcorn and gave Eli a plate. The three of them sat around the fire as they ate. My teacher said, tomorrow's Christopher Columbus Day, Eli said. I have to write a story on the history books we read. They're still calling it that? Grandma sighed. What else would it be called? Camellia replied. Grandma sat up, took off her glasses, and looked them straight in the eyes. She said, pay close attention and open your ears wide. Many before Columbus sailed the great sea. Our ancestors came before him, although many will disagree. Camelia closed her eyes and thought about how fun it would have been. She took a deep breath and let her imagination take her for a spin. Long before 1492, African people sailed the ocean blue. In 1311, the Malians were led by King Abu Bakari, who ruled the largest kingdom on earth, the Empire of Mali. I call them the sea surfers because they built ships out of trees. They could battle the waves and navigate the great sea. The Malian people were incredibly smart. They knew so much about everything, even religion, math, and art. At home, they grew crops up to 20 inches high and recorded the meaning of every single star in the sky. They created calendars to keep count of the days and sewed fancy cloth in all different types of ways. The Malian people had a lot to share. Keeping it to themselves was just simply not fair. One day, King Abu Bakari decided to leave his throne and load 2,000 ships. The king yelled to the men, Prepare yourselves for a very long trip. The men climbed aboard with their tall pointy spears and fought through the waves with no fright or fears. They sailed and sailed by the king's command until they spotted from afar a foreign land. They had journeyed to a place their forefathers had already been. Some of the native people there were considered to be kin. Look, said the king, quickly gather our things. The crew greeted the native people who had lived there for centuries on end. They traded resources and gifts while making new friends. The Malians and natives got along very well. They each had so many stories to share and tell. The chief told stories of the Africans who had come before. He showed them the writings they left while they explored. The natives were skilled in more ways than one. They had civilizations and worship with sun. The chief explained how much they loved Mother Earth. He said, We, the people, must protect her worth. The natives and Malians shared dances and chants. They even healed each other's wounds with herbs and plants. While some of the Malians traveled north and south, extending their stay, the rest said their goodbyes and sailed away. The Malians left a long trail of their existence behind that eventually, centuries later, explorers would find. Eli jumped up and screamed, I want to be a sea surfer. Let's go to the beach. Grandma chuckled. 
You can, just as your ancestors were. It is not out of reach. But Grandma, why do they say Columbus was the first to find the Americas? Camellia asked. Grandma replied, Well, honey, everyone has their unique version of the past. Columbus knew he wasn't the first to discover the land. He himself learned that firsthand. He even wrote about it in his letters to Isabella the Queen because all of the evidence he witnessed could not be unseen. You see, the natives never forgot their very first guest. Black-skinned people have come before, they expressed. Our ancestors were the first to meet the natives, who were already around. And the Americas were never discovered, because what is not lost cannot be found. Thank you for joining me for story time. Parents and teachers, I challenge you to share this critical moment in history with your children in your classrooms on this Christopher Columbus Day. All right, see you next time.